Greetings and salutations, my good friends. This is obviously Light Liger here, the one and only, and today I'm gonna be reviewing the Unstoppable browser, which is created by the Unstoppable Domains. If you remember my review on it, it is basically a domain name service that basically launches the domains inside the blockchain, such as .crypto and also .zill. And I, for example, own lightliger.zill. Uh, here I can show you my ownership of that. And when you have one of these wallets shown up here, and let's say you want to send me Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin, or Doge from any of these wallets, you don't need my address. You just type in lightliger.zill and you will be getting those donations automatically to my wallet, which is kind of cool system. So it allows you to basically receive payments to your domain domain or something and it's very easy to remember so in case you want to try it out and you have one of these wallets you can do it and also the uh, idea is that they're basically uncensorable because they exist inside the blockchain and what the what, what does the browser do then well the browser is basically using an ipfs so here you can actually see the settings. So you can run the unstoppable domain API, non-paranoid, fast response times. You can also use Zilliqa Infura API, or you can also run your own node. I'm not sure how you exactly do that, um, um, but right now we just use it for a second. So I don't think you need to even do any settings and you can run it on your own node. And you can download the IPFS via a Pinata API, Cloudflare, Infura, or directly from the IPFS network. And IPFS is the technology used by BitTorrent, for example. So when you're torrenting, the torrents exist inside the IPFS ecosystem. And IPFS is a really powerful tool, and I think there's gonna be a lot more technology built top of it in the upcoming years, and it's something you should be very bullish about. And as for a browser, like, um, there are a lot of lacking features, so obviously if I would, you wouldn't want to sell me the idea of using this browser, obviously you need to add DAP support. And far as I know, there is none for this browser right now. There's a settings tab which takes you here, so there's like language, things like these. Um, you know, maybe are kind of like needed, obviously. So in terms of the features here, it's a very, you know, very standard. You have like three buttons here, basically. It does have a bookmarking, bookmarking service. So I have unstoppable domains here, for example, so I can view uh, my domains. But you can also publish your own website into the IPFS to kind of to show you the, um, I think it's here. So I can build a website, I can make a personal website, I can, okay, I'm going to be using this, and we can just make this light lighter, I think. No, this is the title where I change it. And here I change, save changes. Now we have made that, you can upload images. Uh, there's like a whole video showing you whole process, there's a lot of customization here. I can add my YouTube links, my Twitter as at Light. So that is now there. Um, well, this we can, can we just leave these blank, please? Or we just switch them out. Okay, that, that works out as well. And now the Twitter is somewhere here. Okay, you click it and it takes us directly into my Twitter account. So that's pretty cool. I don't know why I have this still on. I gotta change that. Um, but it, it is a pretty cool technology and this is very bare bones and Obviously, like the North Koreans, the Chinese, they are blocking this service and, you know, all that. I did talk about the domains in the past. Obviously, if you remember that there are a, like an ecosystem of their own where you can buy domains and then sell them. Um, for example, lightliger.crypto is on sale for 40 bucks. That's the .crypto domain sale. The good thing about unstable domains versus... Um, let's say the domains that are .com, you always pay a monthly fee, sorry, yearly fee to renew it. When you buy from Unstoppable Domains, it's for life, okay? It's for life. So that .zell domain, I bought it for $25 and I didn't have to buy it again. I didn't need to renew it. So that's pretty cool um, system. And I think there was a domain 
correct me if I'm wrong, that sold $20,000. And I've talked about in the past of investing in the domains like let's say car repair or maybe car insurance that these are probably already taken, I, I bet. Uh, and as you can see, so these are things that people are looking for. And, you know, uh, if you find a great domain name, some porn domains could be good. Um, so so b basically, I would I would argue that there is value maybe to flip these domains and make some money. Obviously, you can sell them since they once you buy the domains, they actually become NFTs and you can sell these NFTs on the actual market. Um, the Ethereum name service has all also their own version, which is .eth. We're going to do a separate video about that in the future. But the problem with that one is the price is determined by the length of the domain. And also you have to pay the gas fees and also it does have a yearly subscription. So in the long run, it can cost you less, uh, cost you more than the unstoppable domain. But technically it can also cost you a lot less. And for example, we can see here some of the domains that people are selling. Um, the volume changes per day. I mean, sometimes it can be big, like 29 Ethereum. It's a, like a good volume, I would say. Here, something sold at 247 Ethereum uh, price. So something sold at a really high price on that day. But sometimes it can be a bit lower. So it's not like this million billion dollar industry of selling these domains and flipping them. But I do want to say that there has been quite a lot of people who have bought them, who have signed under my affiliate link. And I do want to um, tell them thank you for, first and foremost um, for doing so. Um, and there are a lot of domains being sold here. We can look at some of the virtual towers, uh, Turner High, Digimike.crypto, FurryBabies.crypto, FurryBaby. I mean, some of these are kind of random, to be honest. I would just go for some type of a DeFi names. And maybe you flip them for, I don't know, an Ethereum, maybe quarter an Ethereum. Um, you don't have to ask much, but OpenSea is a big market. And I think it's the number one where to sell unstable domains. Um, here's the last seven days, what's has been traded, basically. But for example, there was only one domain sold on the, the second day. So it can vary. And I think at some point, this domain flipping is going to get bigger. Once crypto becomes more legitimate, people will be interested in those .crypto domains. But then again, there could be interest on domains .btc or .eth could be more popular in the future as well. But I definitely see the valuations here. I think a lot of people are buying trash domains, but there are probably a lot of things that haven't been bought yet. You could buy YouTube.crypto and at some point they might buy it from you or Tesla.crypto or Tesla.zell. At some point they might buy those domains from you. But it's very easy to sell the domains on the market. You don't really need to do any work. You just pay the gas fees and sell it on the market. But what comes to the browser, um, as I said, it's very early stage version. And I think there needs to be maybe some branding here. At least it's not a Chrome, like a version, like a fork, not a fork of Chrome. It is like built from like scratch, basically. And I just want to see more features. It has to support MetaMask in the future. Maybe it already does. I'm going to leave that in the pinned comment uh, if it truly does. But... It's something you should look into. Domain flipping, NFT flipping in general is a big business that a lot of people don't uh, dive into, even if they should. But thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. Obviously, check out my full video also on unstoppable domains in case you are interested. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon.